Hello my dear students welcome back to your own channel all computer classes today we are going to start chapter 8 that is one of the important chapter html and introduction right so this is going to be the first class on html and these are the three topics that we'll be covering today introduction to html important terms and html editors students do you wonder that how the web pages are created so first of all if you don't know what is web pages let me tell you every page that you visit on internet is a web page right so do you know how these web pages are made or which language is used to write these web pages the answer is html right so today we are going to learn what is html let us understand the background of html first of all html stands for hypertext markup language you must know this it was invented in 1990 and it was invented by the scientist called tim berners lee right so what was the purpose original purpose of creating html that was to make it easy for scientists at the different universities to share each other's research work right how the scientists felt the need to create something like html to create web pages and to share so there were some scientists who were working on some research on some same topic they were at the different universities so they wanted to share their research work by sitting at same place so this idea of creating web pages came into their mind right so which gave birth to html now let's know some important term before studying html so the first is internet right it is a powerful tool to access vast network of information right so today every kind of information is available on internet right so you all are familiar with internet and web pages so information on the internet is available in the form of a special electronic documents called web page right so every page that you see on internet is a web page and collection of these related web page makes a website right so the next is website so collection of many related web pages forms a website for example you uh, visit uh, cbsc website so all the information related to the cbsc board would be placed at one place so all the web pages are related to each other in one or other form so that is made that makes a website right next is web browser it's a special software to view the web pages right so when you open internet what do you open actually you open a web browser you either open google chrome you in either open safari mozilla firefox so these are web browser on which you open the website and see the web pages right so all these things happens with the facility of internet right so i hope you are clear with these terms now the next term is hypertext so hypertext is a piece of text that has a specific that has a special feature of linking to other documents or web pages right so hyper means linking right so when you click whenever you click whenever you search something on internet so internet gives you lot of or many many uh, options so when you move your mouse pointer over it, um, the mouse pointer changes into a hand sign that indicates a hyperlink right so when you click hyperlink it opens another web page right so hypertext is a piece of text that has a special feature of linking to other documents or web pages on clicking hyperlinks you get to see a new web page right so what is the meaning of markup language it's a computer language that uses tags right to define elements within a document that instruct browser how to display the text right so don't worry right now i'll make you understand how this hypertext markup language works and what these tags are right so don't worry right now so tags are the small piece of code or a small uh, commands that you will come to know shortly so the third topic is html editors right so html editors are the program that are used for creating and saving the documents right so 
we need for example you get a homework so where do you do your homework you you do your work on notebook right in the same way where these html programs are created right so they are called html editors so these are the program that are used for creating and saving the documents which documents html documents right so mainly there are two types of editors one is wysiwyg and second is text editor this type of web browser editor allow a developer to see what the end result will look like right so the first is wysiwyg which stands for what you see is what you get right so this type of web browser allows a developer to see what the end result will look like while they are creating the web pages but it is but this is not the case in the second one so these editor provides various tools and graphical interfaces so there will be many tools in front of you and graphical interfaces for designing these web pages right so the next is so second type is text editor we can also create web pages using these normal text editor like notepad wordpad right so you all are familiar with the notepad and wordpad they are very simple text editor that comes with your windows right so here we need to have a proper knowledge of html commands after completing the code and saving your document then only you will get to see what your end result is looking like whether it is desired or not so if it is not desired then you need to come back to edit your notepad uh, program and then save again and then you will see again the result right so here you need to know the proper command so we will be using text editor notepad for creating our web pages why because we need to learn all the commands of html right so what do we need to work in html one thing i'll use notepad i'll create a program here and save it and then i'll use web browser to see the output result that is my web page right students so that's it for today see you in the next video where we will create a basic html program and then we will save it and we will see a basic html page that you all will be creating so you are going to become a web designer right so see you in the next video take care and goodbye god bless you all